what is up day of reckoning is almost at hand to dissect this unit and re-engineer it into the split system so we were talking pretty much sure this is uh, wired as an auto transformer it would make total sense and you can see look primary 265 volts secondary 230 this is a step down to the blower so basically that just simply unplugged so and then this is just gonna go right back in its place and now this is like my other unit that's a 230 volt rated unit it didn't need that auto transformer thingamajigger and then that should work all right well getting ready to hang the high wall right here so I could blow right over my area I did have some disappointing luck today when I actually tried to hook DC voltage up to that unit while it's still all together and it actually won't run strictly off at high voltage DC I mean it does boot up the thermostat turns on but if I uh, put like over 300 volts to it like 320 whatever the, uh, it was given like a high AC voltage alarm and I took one 12 volt battery out brought it down close to 300 volts a little over that it was given like a low voltage I'm like DC You're like what the heck so there must be sensors on that main motor control board that monitors the AC voltage somehow or be or just looks at it pre rectifier or something so anyway I don't have a condenser to, to match is that I have some other ones back there but the smallest ones like a three ton so this thing is just too big to to cut into my wall I still have another one that runs so I'm going to keep that one for when I want to do any extra research on these Frederick units from my house I'm still going to have a complete unit this one I'm going to go ahead and just use it as an outdoor unit take off the evaporator section so let's get this on there I drilled a hole here I did a uh, sleeve it it's a piece of ABS. I like to do that. So I looked up the part for this, the, for the wall bracket that you're supposed to screw up there and snap this on for some reason. Um, it's missing. These were returns. Here's the box. So the box is here, right? And then the, uh, the little template is still in there unused right here that comes with it. Because somebody swapped out the unit, put the new one up there, but then they uh, kept the extra metal wall bracket. So that sucks. So I don't have it. So I found the part, but none in stock here in Arizona. So I'm like, eh. I just looked at this thing. I'm like, you know, I'll just screw this thing to my wall. So right here, 31 and a half inches apart. I got some holes up there. It's going to line up right with where my studs are. I'm going to put this on there and stick it. All right, guys, time to start dissecting this unit. Now I'm gonna pump it down and then cut the lines, and then I'm gonna pop the top of this unit off, see what it looks like. So, uh, by the way, this is how you get the blower section out. You have to take these outer screws off, leave the inner screws, and the motor and the blower wheel come off together. And then you got you can take off those screws later to take the motor off of the back plate. But that's actually how you get the motor out, which people do complain because unfortunately they have to uh, pull the whole unit, you know, out of the closet. So uh, there's also a looks like a supply air temperature sensor. I don't know if it needs it for any feedback. It probably does. So probably gonna have to relocate this into the mini also i knew there was a space temperature which is here and a coil temperature one okay i just pulled out the return air temperature sensor there's a the supply air temperature sensor right here just dropped them two down here they're all they're all numbered four two but there is and two coil temperature sensors there is only one in on that mini split so and there wasn't a supplier temperature sensor so it looks like i'm gonna have to take one and three here and it looks like they are on the coil so it monitors the coil i'm gonna have to add one it has one on there now and i have to figure out how far into the uh evaporative coil circuit it is you can look over here and kind of figure it out so two circuits uh looks like it's gonna be one 
coming out here, two coming out here. So if this is going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight down, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it comes here. I'm sure this one loops over down like that. And it does. So it's going to go. So liquid comes in, it's evaporating, doo -doo 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 -doo. goes right here, and then right, and then it's going to go, and I'm sure it's going to go over one more time. Let's see how it goes. If it gets down here, yep, it couples over, and then that suction. So it's going, comes in, goes up, down, up. Right in the middle, pretty much, is where this is. Second parallel circuit. Um, goes in at the bottom. Okay, so uh, three is the inlet. Yep, because it's a first pass. And then this one, even though it's on the other circuit, parallel, I guess it doesn't matter, it's like halfway through the coil. And there's like one like that already on the mini. So it looks like I'll have to uh, look at my coil in there. I'm gonna have to put this sensor, number three, uh, on after the first pass. <laughs> couple it and then uh the other one you know that's already hooked up so i'll have to remember to do it so this is going to take a little more than i thought as far as hooking up these sensors this this unit definitely was monitoring uh, quite a bit okay it's about ready to call it a night so i disassembled this vrp unit real good lower section gear section panels, evap coil. <laughs> I just have it sitting right here for the night on nitrogen pressure test. Here's the, uh, I put a sleeve coming through the wall. I think I might have showed that earlier. You got my lines. Got the uh, flare connections. Of course, it's 5 eighths to 3 eighths. 5 eighths freaking flare on 3 eighths pipe. So, fuck, I had to step that up and back down. Got that going in here now, so yeah. Nylog blue, the good shit. So, yep, leave that. Tomorrow I'm gonna have to extend my sensors. I mapped out the sensors. Oh man, I hope it don't rain. Here are the four sensors that have to go inside. <laughs> you can guess that these are the return and supply air. And then you got your uh coil out coil in and they're all got color coded things so i'm going to basically probably splice these right here extend them on some com cable uh probably have to add about six feet or something but that that uh outdoor unit's just right outside and down so it's not gonna be that long a line so i had already connected these two sensors but and i might use it i don't know on that one cable <laughs> and splice them to the proper ones because this was a 10k and this was a 10k should be good just had to add a couple more so anyway i'm gonna call it for a night catch you guys later